Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. Welcome back to uh, Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Go back to the silencing arrows, actually. Yeah. Temporarily. Actually, you know what? Angel arrows, we got that Minerva boost, yay. God, I can't believe I got that to drop. That's amazing. It's just so amazing. I'm so happy I got that. Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the core again. And this time we're going to go... South. Let's go. Head on south. Oh, I forgot to write uh, that this is episode 45 on my notepad. If you're wondering what I use my notepad for, well, it's notes. Uh, mainly time codes, but sometimes if I'm making a specific edit or something, I'll write that down as well. It saves me time in the editing process. We're going to go get this uh, first. In fact, I'm going to show you something with this weapon. The Mighty Flame Whip for Rydia it is ordinarily quite horrible. However, if we were to do this, she would have a strength of 54 and a speed of 47 and actually be pretty decent at physical attacking. Um, not amazing, but viable at least. I would never recommend doing that, but it is an option. Can she quit the Black Bow Key? Oh, she can. How much would it be with Black Bow Key? Just out of curiosity. Not nearly enough to even consider it. But if you happen to get a Minerva Bustier and you want to use Physical Rydia, by all means, have at ya. I mean, you might want to get uh, another Green Beret out. Another... Yeah, I mean, you might want to do that if you're going to do that, but I don't recommend it. Uh, I better make sure that we're good. We're not good. I still have the flame rod on. <laughs> I've been having trouble equipping the right stuff, so I'm being very thorough. Okay. Yeah, normally Riddy only has like 29. Yeah. She's not very fast either, sadly. I'm not going to sell it. I would store it. It's also fire elemental. So it's actually not bad here against like those bone dragons, I would imagine. As well as I think dino zombies are also weak to fire. But, eh, Rydia has better things to do. We're going to get this uh, dragon shield. So, I don't know where all the enemies are, but I'm not complaining. I want to equip this on... Cain for now. Uh, the thing is, is it gives you protection from elements, and it also protects you from dragon attacks. So, you know, a physical attack from a dragon will do, like, one damage or something to Cain, which is good. And uh, protection from fire, ice, and lightning. It's amazing. I like it. Uh, Cecil can also equip dragon equipment, which is very nice. And I will be taking advantage of that. Now dragons are going to show up regularly, so we're going to switch over to those wonderful Artemis arrows. And we're going to switch over to the Kiku Ichimaji, because we don't really need anything else at this point. So let's, uh, we're going to go south? Yeah. Skip these stairs, I believe. Yeah. And I think there's a, yeah, we can go through this and grab the dragon helm. I don't know where all the enemies are. I'm getting a little worried about this now. Get the dragon helm. I'm going to give that to Cecil for now. Uh, why? Well, I want him to have elemental protection as well, which the Genji helm does not use. Get the dragon mail and 
Dragon Gloves. So, let's go ahead and equip those on Kane. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and give the Dragon Gloves over to Kane, or Cecil. Give him back the Genji Helm now. And... Yeah, he only needs one piece of Dragon Equipment, and the Gloves are, I think, the better option, because they give him some magic defense. I think compared to, uh... Yeah, I think that the gloves give you the most magic defense, so I think that's the way to go. Yeah, yeah, that's the way to go. And now, uh, Cecil has elemental protection as well. Although, eventually, Kane will want this back, but we need something else for Cecil first. So, let's, uh, let's backtrack. What is going on here? Oh, there we go. Jeez, that was scary. <laughs> I mean, I'm grateful, but, you know, I, I gotta get some levels for Rydia. Baraga! That ought to do the trick. Yeah, I guess you can attack, although not really gonna matter much. Sure, why not attack? Ah, Rydia didn't even get Fyraga off. Really? 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 Armored Fiends? That's unfortunate. So we want Fairy Claws back. I guess we'll get Angel Arrows back. I'm actually going to use Stop here on the one in the back. That's Toad Rising. There you go. I guess Overkiller. Finish off that one in the back. Or one in the front. Rydia will stoppy stop. And we're good. Now it's just a matter of taking them down. Really not much point to having Kane do much of anything. Now hopefully, I've disabled my preview video, so hopefully I will not have as many problems or any issues with these videos corrupting on me, but who knows. The previous one is good, so, yeah, we're, we're okay. Uh, let me know what you think of the audio levels, because I've been playing with them since, uh, learning how to multi-track record. It just, it makes it so much easier, I don't have to sync it up. And I could still, if I wanted to, you know, render the audio as, for the microphone as, you know, MP3 or whatever, and put it into Audacity if I really wanted to. Uh... I knew I needed to equip something else. Yeah, okay, we're good. <sighs> I I have no words. I have no words. I did it this out, but I'm so dumbfounded that my all my asking for encounters gave me three encounters in like three steps. Be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. <laughs> uh, I think we're going through this door now. Yep. We're on B4 now. We're going to go east to a fork. And we're going to bypass these stairs for yet more Artemis arrows. What do we got? New enemy? Ah, the gold dragons. Remember how I said they were rare in the Lair of the Father? Well, here they are. Common as can be. Now, unfortunately, we've got uh, two of them, which really sucks. They have a brutal blitz attack. It's a lightning attack. Deals one-tenth of your max HP. Uh, it's not good, but it'll be cut in half because we have lightning protection. So, yeah, that's good. And count us with paralysis. So, we want to stop him. Uh, we want to stop both of them, unfortunately. Well, we want to at least stop one of them. Yeah, let's see here. Let's get stop going. Ah, uh, there's Thunderbolt. Get the one in the back. Now, I'm actually going to use Rose's Artemis Arrows because I think they're worth the counter. But I need Stop to go through first. Mm. Rose should do a lot of damage. Yeah, nearly enough to kill the guy. Thanks for erasing that on me. And one more shot with Artemis Arrows. I ought to do the trick. If Rosa got stopped... I would, uh, either... I'd probably just cure it with Asuna. I could have just stopped both of them, but I 
lazy. I didn't want to wait that long. Uh, yeah, sure. Why don't we use uh, Bio? I don't remember if magic works on them, but... That yeah, does. Good. Look at the damage Rose was doing with that Minerva Bustier. Even without it, she'd be doing about 5,000 to the guy, but, I mean, that Minerva Bustier is just incredible. Yeah, let's equip those Artemis arrows right away. Man, Rosa is just a monster here. She is really good. Oh, this is a unique encounter. So I want to go ahead and give that uh, mage weapon on Edge. Well, it's a different encounter, so, you know. Get the Mage Masher, and we'll go ahead and one-shot... Oh, you... Oh, good. Uh, Edge can resist that now. And we'll go ahead and get a nice Fyraga on uh, that enemy there. And uh, between that and Artemis Arrows, I think we'll get the job done. Oh, that was a bad uh, Fyraga. Normally it's closer to 8-9,000, but whatever, a lot of hits must have missed. Oh my god, Rosa! Wow! Did you need to murder that guy like that? Jeez. Who says white mages can't be badass? I mean, her personality is like cardboard, but she's strong! So that's a plus. Oh, if you haven't run into gold dragons like I did, go ahead and use a siren. You'll run into them. Guaranteed in this room. Anyway, go downstairs. We're going to go west at this fork. Should be an elixir in here. Yeah, there we go. Nice, good elixir. Leave this room. We're going to go east. Down some stairs. Ah, uh, dragon stand. No chance against Rosa. Will you give me this freaking one-step battle? <laughs> Why? Why? Do you know how hard it is to edit out that? You make me not be able to. Oh, man. I should have waited for stop. I need to wait to see if he's gonna, who he's going to paralyze. Kane. I don't care about Kane. Kane's pretty useless. Oh, man. Here, hit the guy in the back. You got a long range weapon. Ooh, Thunderbolt, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, that drives me crazy. Let aim go through. 1400 damage there from Rosa alone. Awesome. Two rounds of attacks, that's very, very good. Get a nice bio, why not? Love bio, good spell. Oh, the graphic is, uh, for the spell is that was actually showing in front of Rydia there. Huh, it, that doesn't logically make any sense. That's weird. Okay. Now the one downside to having the Minerva Bustier is that her spirit is bad. So her healing isn't so hot. But whatever. We got plenty of ethers anyway, who cares? We're gonna go down these stairs and through a door. I'm actually going to go ahead and use a Siren here, because this will guarantee give us a little murderer. That's a back attack. This guy was called the uh, Trickster in the SNES version, because, well, he casts Libra on himself. If you use Thunder on him, he'll murder you with a Thunderbolt attack. It's lightning based. Even with resistance, it just does massive damage to the entire party. Uh, I don't recommend uh, messing with it, so here's what you do. Hit him a couple of times. We'll hit him. Uh, that's probably enough. But we'll have uh, Edge hit him as well. Just in case. And uh, Thundaga will... He is weak to Thunder, but he just gains the power to use lightning on you if you hit him with lightning and it doesn't kill him. But it should kill him. I mean, it should do max damage. Yeah, there we go. But he has slightly over, you know, the damage cap, so... 
you just want to weaken them enough so that you can uh, for sure kill them. So uh, you know, hit them, get them down to about six, seven thousand HP, seventy-five hundred, and uh, you'll be able to wipe them out with a Thundaga. He'll never actually attack you. And of course, we get the guy immediately again without a siren. Thanks, game. He's not really rare or anything. It's just a siren's guaranteed. So yeah, I might as well. Want to fire an arrow at him, Rosa? I think you do. And go ahead and get a nice Thundaga. On the plus side, he'll always show you his HP, so that's nice. Ah, one more attack, just to be sure. Finish him off, Rydia! Yeah! Rydia's awesome. Okay. Uh, let's see, there's... Oh, northeast first? Yeah, northeast corner. Should be a white fang up here. Oh, well, this is a different encounter. So we got the gold and silver dragon together. The trick to this fight is to stop the gold dragon. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, Rosa can basically one-shot the silver dragon with her setup, but otherwise just have everybody focus on the silver dragon. I'm actually going to have Kane jump the dragon in the back. Because why not? He's got enough HP, I think, to warrant it. Yeah, Rosa is just amazing. Not gonna have bother having Rydia cast a spell. No point, really. Get that jump going. And aim. Oh, aim did the trick. Didn't even... Oh, yeah, I don't care about his wrath. I had Kane use jump just because he was in the back row. Probably didn't need to do that, but... Yeah, whatever. Kane's pretty bad here, frankly. Uh, to get northeast for a white fang. Except for against, like, one enemy. We're gonna go west. I mean, he's not awful or anything, but, you know. Go west all the way to the wall. Oh, dino zombie. That's new. Okay. Basically the same thing as the bone dragon. Just, uh, aim with Rosa. And get a nice, uh, fire iron going. I know it looks like he's resistant to fire. Uh, he's not. Just accept the fact that he's not. I don't know why. He can curse you, it deal, it cuts your attack power in half, which is actually really bad for Rosa there. But, he shouldn't really be a problem. He shouldn't get a chance to complete your party or anything. There we go. Good damage. Between the two, you win. Uh, you could also use Cecil to attack the guy. I believe he's weak to Holy. But I wanted to give Rydia some, a chance to shine there. Alright, took care of that guy. Yeah, the, the Dino Zombie is weak to Holy, so the Excalibur will do a lot of damage to him. So, you know, between Cecil attacking, you know, Fyraga, Artemis Arrows, boom, you're good to go. I mean, I don't even really need Fyraga with the Minerva Boostia. It's ridiculous, but I want to still use it just to show it off. I think there's a Behemoth here. Yes, okay. So, I'm going to, well, number one, heal up. Now, we could switch over Radiant Rosa to her white mage equipment, but I don't think it's necessary. I do want to make sure... Okay, yeah. Later on, Cecil will have a piece of armor that makes him immune to Berserk. Uh, obviously, that's no good. So, yeah. Let's take on this uh, behemoth. Now, I'm actually going to summon Bahamut here. Uh, but first, I got to get Holy. Not Holy. Jeez, that's terrible. <laughs> Yeah, don't use Holy on this guy. He'll counter with Maelstrom. I think he can counter Flare with Maelstrom as well. I just don't think it's guaranteed. Uh, oh yeah, we can use uh, Mirage. Get Blink going first. Really, you only need Cecil and Kane Edge to have it. Really? The ladies are usually fine in the back. Well, Edge probably doesn't even really need it either, but he can Mirage himself. But I like to play it extra carefully. Now, the reason why I'm using Bahamut here is because it, it bypasses his counters. It's really a big reason why... He's a Bacchus one. Why... Rydia is so much better than Palum here. Because Palum basically can't do anything against these guys. Nor can he trigger the Earthquake counter against the White Dragon, which is 
unfortunate. You'll just want to stick to Flare and try to nuke him before he kills you with Maelstrom. And use slow counters instead, which is annoying. But Bahamut here does a lot of damage and doesn't trigger... Well, it triggers a physical counter, but we're immune to that because of... Uh, because of the Blink uh, spell. Now, I could have done this before in the Lair of the Father with Leviathan. I just didn't. The thing is, Leviathan deals, well, less damage than this. So, I, I don't know if it's really worth it, honestly, to use Leviathan there. I think it would do only about as much damage as Cecil was doing at the time. Get the Mighty Stardust Rod. It's a better weapon for Rydia. But, it is an option. It's certainly worth considering. Yeah, another 5 Intellect, so 15 now, instead of 10, which is good. Uh, it's pretty awesome for Rydia. Palum does have more Intellect, but Rydia is just so much more versatile. Uh, it's definitely time to start using some Ethers, because, unfortunately, we're going to start fighting Red and Blue Dragons, and they're unpleasant, to say the least. Yeah. By the way, if you haven't met up with the two undead dragons, bone dragons and dino zombies, do so in the previous room up there at this point because they're going to become rarer going forward. So we're going to go down some stairs to B5. Make sure you meet up with Ariman there. Ooh, two gold dragons again. I should have edited it out, but I talked over it. I forgot. It's okay. We can do it on screen. Go ahead and get a nice stop going. Attack. Let's see if we need to use Asuna on Rosa. We do not. We might as well as soon as uh, Kane. We can actually hit the one in the back. Why not? That was a terrible, an absolutely terrible uh, attack from, from Edge there. That's really sad. Should we use Flare? We should use Flare. I like how I'm asking you is if you can possibly answer me. It's amazing. Yeah, make sure you encounter Ariman in this section because he does not show up later. Uh, he's a floating eye monster. Ah, the mighty blue dragon. He is weak to fire. Or so you would think. He is not weak to fire, actually. Don't be fooled. Now, there is a red dragon here that is weak to ice. This guy is not weak to fire. I don't know why. He's just not. You're going to want to use Flare. If there's two of them, use Bahamut. You can also stop them, I believe. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can stop them. They're a dragon. So, we're going to go ahead and... Get him with uh, Artemis Arrows. Gonna get a Flare going. You could use Stop, but I don't want to. That was awfully weak, Rosa. I'm surprised. You feeling okay up there? There we go, we got him. Huh. It says you're set up correctly. Oh well. Take care of the blue dragon. Now, I think there's going to be a red and a blue dragon here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is obnoxious. So, we're going to use Bahamut here because there's two of them. So, I'm going to try to weaken both of them. Now, the red one is weak to ice. So, if it's just a red dragon, use Blizzaga. But since there's two of them, well, that's not really going to cut it. Have Rosa focus on one dragon herself. Because Rosa's a monster. And, uh, you don't mess with Rosa. And then Bahamut. Yeah, they have a pretty brutal ice elemental attack. Uh, ice storm. If you're weak to ice, watch out. And that is a problem for Edward. Let Bahamut go through. There we go. Let's go ahead and auto battle through that. 
Yeah, I'm gonna start spamming Bahamut Flare, really high level stuff, so. We're gonna need to use those ethers, maybe even the elixirs. There we go, got him. Get the mighty crystal shield. I'm gonna give that to Cecil. It's good, as you might imagine. You lose a little bit of magic defense, but who cares? One point of magic defense is worth dropping for a little more physical defense there. He's in the front, so. I think it's worthwhile. Okay, so. Uh, unless you're using the dragon shield on, K on Cecil, then I wouldn't equip it, but we have the dragon gloves anyway. We want to go to in the door now. Let's see if we can fight a red dragon by itself, and I'll use uh, I'll use Plazaga on it, but no reason to otherwise. Get the mighty protect ring. I'm gonna give that to Rosa. It's basically just a pure upgrade from the diamond armlet. Protects against fire, ice, and lightning. Unfortunately, I don't think it has. Oh, I think it has a stamina increase actually. It does. 56 stamina. 71 stamina. Plus 15 stamina. Yeah, it's very good. It's a no-brainer. Rosa should get it. Uh, if you are taking Edward here, I highly recommend getting this treasure first and then going to get the crystal shield. Because otherwise, Edward's going to be weak to ice and it's going to be unpleasant. So, grab this first and he's going to want it instead. So, anyway... We're going to go ahead and head to a fork and head... Well, I don't think that's a fork. Maybe it was. No, I think this is a fork. We're going to head south. Still in B5. Ahriman? Three Dark Sages! Well, that's unusual. I don't I didn't even know you could fight Dark Sages this far in. Um, okay, I guess we'll use silencing arrows. Get the one in the back, why not? Might need, uh, Cecil to help her out. Yeah, a little bit. That was weird. That was an unusual battle. I've never seen that before. Should be another behemoth. I'm just going to fight him off screen because, well, I'm going to use the same tactic. Uh, give Brady a bit more MP. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, we get the Mighty Crystal Mail for Cecil. Let's equip that. Unfortunately, it makes him immune to Berserk, which is bad. Uh, I want him to be able to have Berserk uh, for another Behemoth later on, so I'm going to try to remember to unequip it. If I forget... Not a big deal because we have Kane and we can use uh, the jump command instead for yeah, similar damage. It's a little bit worse, but it'll get the job done. So don't worry about it if you forget. Not a huge deal. Now, I really would like to fight, uh, well, whatever. I would like to fight Cecil's, uh, or Ariman, but unfortunately he didn't show up yet. Ah, another dino zombie. Well, I can show you how good the Excalibur is. Yeah, that's the dragon male protecting, uh, Cecil there. Or, Kane. I was defending from, you know. Oh, did you curse him? You cursed him. Wow, that's through curse. That's with half attack power, and he still dealt that kind of damage. Are you kidding me, game? Well, you're going down now, dragon zombie! Or Dino Zombie, whatever, same thing. Aim. Don't curse him, please. You cursed Rosa? I hate you. Damn, that's through curse. Yeah, that's pretty good. Here, Fyraga. Go ahead and kill the guy. I could have Cecil finish him, but why? Give the green haired girl her showtime. Uh, she's so powerful. I love it. She just nukes everything. Okay, so here we are here. We're gonna go through the door. And we're gonna head northeast. 
Unfortunately, there are two red dragons here. I might want to use an elixir. Eh, nah, we'll just stick with the ethers. I do want to heal up, though, because it's going to be bad. Yes, Kiraja. Maybe a couple of Kiras. Alright, so we got two red dragons, so let's go ahead and fight them. So, I'm going to have... Well, everybody focus on one. We're going to have Rydia Blizzaga one. Let's get that off immediately. Don't multi-target because the split damage isn't worth it. But I think Rosa should be able to deal with one. And then uh, Rydia can basically take out the other one. Uh, maybe a good flood is in order, actually. Now that I think about it. Yeah, why not? Let's use Flood. Because there's two of them. They're weak to... They're weak to it. I think it might finish them both off. Eh, that's not bad. Worth considering. Oh yeah, there's his uh, fire attack. It's powerful. It hurts. Oof, that was good damage to Rydia. She doesn't have elemental protection against it. Get the mighty crystal gloves. I could use stop there as well. I just choose not to. Oh yeah, we fought a behemoth. I think we're double checking my monster list here. Okay. So we're gonna need to use, we're gonna need to fight Ahriman. He's the last real enemy that is a problem to meet up with sometimes. We got some uh, crystal gloves, I think. Okay. Uh, I am not going to equip them yet because I would lose elemental protection. So I'm not gonna equip them yet. I will equip them later, however. Actually, we could equip them and give the dragon helm over. Yeah, why not? Let's do that instead. That way we still have the elemental protection. And... We can give the dragon gloves to... Kane. There we go. That'll work for now. I think I actually equipped the diamond one, actually. Good thing I checked that. Okay. Let's go ahead and head west. We're gonna go through the... I don't think we're going through that door. I think we're going through this other door. Yeah, that makes sense. So, let's see. There should be a white robe in there. Yeah, okay. Let's remove this for now. Uh, 65 spirit. Put the white robe. I think it's plus 15. Yeah, plus 15 spirit. It's really good. Obviously, I don't want to use it right now, but I will later for bosses. We're going to head north now. Let's see. We're going to leave this. Is the white room? I think it also protects from elements. I forget, though. Uh, maybe it doesn't, actually. No, I don't think it does. I think it just increases your... Your, um... Your spirit. It might protect you from holy elemental attacks. I don't remember. Uh, let's see. We're going... West? Yes. Yes, I think this is the crystal. Yeah, it's a dino zombie. I did it out, but they're easy enough. Oh, it's a dark sage too. Okay. So. Oh, you have the mage masher on? I guess I didn't realize it. Oh yeah, because we fought those three uh, dark sages. That makes sense. Well, convenient. Sure, I guess we'll try fire aga, but I think uh, Cecil will just end up taking him out. Or not. 
Ah, oh, I think you're gonna survive because you cursed me. Oh no, that was enough. Good. A maiden's kiss is if I care about that, but I do care about the crystal helm, which I'm gonna equip right away because it offers elemental protection. So now, Dragon Harlot can go over to Pain, and we shouldn't need that Mage Basher anymore. Well, not. I don't think we're gonna fight another Dark Sage. So at this point, we have all the crystal stuff on Cecil and all the dragon stuff on Cain. Awesome. Now, I would like to fight a Ariman in this section. Uh, we're gonna ignore these stairs and into this room. There should be a red thing in here. I swear to God, if I get... <laughs> Okay, I was really concerned for a second. Go ahead, you stop and aim. That ought to do it the trick. I'm gonna use a siren, but I'm gonna need to get some MP for Rosa. Or Rydia, sorry. Maybe an elixir's in order. Yeah, sure. We'll use an elixir. Now make sure that uh, Cecil has... Has that, uh... Crystal... Mail equipped. Which he does. Good. Use a siren in this room. I forgot to open that chest. Oh well. It's a red fang. Uh, I'm gonna open it later. But these are flan princesses. And... Well, we can attack, but... Leave, uh, Cecil on standby. Oh, uh, Rosa. I, uh, actually want her to remove her arrows. Yeah, these guys dance. They change the music. And they just randomly berserk you. But Cecil's immune. Uh, I don't want them to berserk, uh... Yeah, okay. That's not gonna work. Good. Summon Bahamut. And get ready to use Asuna on Rydia if need be. Bahamut is really the only way I'm going to deal with these guys. They're not like other flan monsters. They don't have max physical defense. I just don't want R Rosa wasting her arrows here. Uh, you know, while we have a chance, let's Kiraga Cecil. It takes about two Bahamuts, really, to take these guys out. They have a lot of HP. Yeah, 20,000. If the music stops, they'll run away. Now, these guys can drop the pink tail. They're an ultra rare encounter, by the way. And that's an ultra rare drop. <laughs> I think it's an ultra, ultra rare drop. Even harder than the Minerva Bustier I got. So, yeah. Why would you want it? Well, remember that rat tail collector that gave us the... Well. We gave him the rat tail and he gave us adamantite. Well, if we give him a pink tail... He'll actually give us adamantite armor. Or adamantium, or adamantin, ad adamantite armor, I think it is. Uh, they're amazing. Eventually, stop. Can you please cast Bahamut? Thank you. And I'm not having Cecil do anything because he may need to use Asuna on Rydia. into Berserk. It breaks the game, basically, so... I don't recommend uh, getting it. It also takes forever to farm, but the best way to do it is this room. Keep using a siren over and over and over and over again, and you'll fight them again and again and again and again and again. But it's very random whether or not... It's, well, it's very rare whether or not you're going to end up with the item. Uh, the pink tail. And even then, I mean, you would need... How many pink does? You only get one per armor. So, I mean, excluding the shield, everyone has three pieces of equipment. I mean, one, two, three, times five, 15, plus a couple of shields. Yeah, I mean, it would take you forever to get adamantite armor for everybody. Uh, actually, I think even the ladies can equip uh, adamantite shields. 
Or maybe it's just the hero shield they can equip. But we're whatever. Don't bother. It it's it's not gonna work out well for you. So we want to meet up with an Ariman, and if I get it right away, great. If not, well, we'll uh, look for him when we can. Oh, I got him right away. <laughs> awesome. This guy's basically a damage rush. So, but make sure you're using the Moon Ring Blade. It's throw elemental. Go ahead and equip the uh, Artemis arrows back because they are also throw elemental. And this is the reason why I brought the Gungnir with me. Because it is also throw elemental. And this guy is a damage rush. So I'm also going to use Flare here. Because... All this guy does is doom you one by one over and over again. Fortunately, he's too stupid to not doom the same person. So he usually just resets the counter anyway. But you might as well kill him quickly. Just go all out. And there you go. That takes care of Aruban. So the only three enemies left are in the final section, I believe. Double check. There's a lot of enemies here. Yeah, I've checked everybody off, it looks like. Yep, we're good. Go back to the defender for now. In case I get in another battle, I guess. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, let's see going to be a Fuma Shuriken to the east and Artemis Arrows to the west. I'm going to go east first because we're going to take the west stairs. We're going to end this episode with a battle against uh, what I would consider the hardest boss in the normal game. Ah, Golden Apple. Oh, that's a cottage actually. Whoops. Okay. Uh, invisible Bridge over here. Golden Apple should be the next chest. Yeah, it is. Oh, you can equip those uh, Artemis Arrows by the way. Yeah, there we go. There's a secret room here. Awesome. This should be the golden apple. Go ahead and just use that right on Rydia right away. Uh, Edward should have enough HP at this point, so... Rydia is the one that really needs it at this point. Uh, cross the... Here. Go in the teleporter. Two blue dragons. Oh, uh, that's not good. Uh, I hate this fight. Because this is going to require us to use Bahamut. It's a lot of MP. Oh well. Let's get to it, I guess. I like to weaken both of them and get them with a nice Bahamut, and uh, that'll do the trick. Oh, he missed a range. Okay. Good. Bahamut. Have Edge attack you. We'll have Kane or Cecil attack the one up top. We have another arrow for Rosa, but I'd rather wait for Bahamut to see if I need a little bit of extra help. Come on, fire breathing dragon, let's go. That should kill them both. No, it only killed one. Okay. But Rosa should finish it off. There you go. Must have a lot of defense or something. They are dragon types. I guess they're just... Have more defense. Uh, remove Cecil's crystal mail. Just go ahead and equip the Genji armor for now. And uh, not another behemoth. Same thing as before. I'll take care of them. And be right back. Should be uh, another protect ring. I'm removing the crystal mail so I can use Berserk, by the way. I All right, there it is. The mighty protect ring. This one is going on Edge. No, not Rydia. <laughs> Edge, he needs it more. He's got less magic defense. So there we go. Go ahead and give the crystal mail back to Cecil. There are no more fixed uh, behemoth fights, by the way. There are random encounter ones, but I'm just going to run from them anyway. Oh, thank God. Much needed save point. Cottage up.
and uh, I'm gonna rearrange my equipment and be right back. This is one of the hardest bosses in the game. Okay, I'm back, and uh, <laughs> for take two of this boss fight, because the footage corrupted, of course. In fact, all three episodes I recorded had some footage corrupting. Fortunately, the previous one only had one tiny transition that I was able to edit out, but... I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to record directly to the SSD now instead of my external hard drive. If maybe that's the issue. I don't know. Or my PBR is just dying. I, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, yeah, I got White Maid set up for Rosa. And I gave Dragon Gloves to Cecil because it's a dragon. I guess it would help if he does a physical attack. So that leaves Diamond Gloves to Kane there, but all the rest of his stuff is dragon stuff. So yeah, let's uh, go. Uh, Edge is the same as always. Well, not the same as always, but he's using his most powerful weapons. Okay, so let's uh, fight the guy. Probably the hardest boss in the game. Well, one of them. Hardest boss in this test version, for sure. Start with a spider silk. He's going to start with Mega Flare. Uh, there's a very good chance that Rydia will die from it. Rosa might die as well. Well, we survived. Good. Uh, Kane took a ton of damage. Uh, he's going to need... Yeah, we need uh, Kiraja after that one. And I want to get a Flare off immediately before he uses Reflect. Because he is going to use Reflect. And that's going to annoy me. Use a Bacchuswine on Edge. That's all he's going to do is attack. Good damage there. Good damage. Uh, get a jump going. Yeah, sure. We're good. Kane's uh, got enough health. Maybe get a uh, haste on Rosa. I think that's a good idea. Now, he's going to use Reflect. In order to get under that, I want to use Quake. Do not use Bahamut or any summon here, including Sylph, to heal. Uh, because he will counter with Mega Flare and you'll die. <laughs> Well, it'll do a lot of damage to you. If I had Meteor, I'd actually use it here, but unfortunately I don't. Mm. He's using... Yep, okay. Using heal... He'll reflect uh, Flare off himself. I mean, you could set up Reflect, and then trigger the Mega Flare counter. I imagine it would still reflect back, but that's a lot of work. Uh, I don't recommend that. Just stick with using Quake or Meteor if you got it. If I had Meteor, I would use it. I just don't have it here, unfortunately. Uh, sure, whatever. We'll heal stuff as well. Kane's in the air, and that's actually a good thing here, because Kiraja won't split as much. This guy can be beaten at lower levels, but uh, chances are Rydia and Rosa and Edge are going to die from Mega Flare. As long as you've gotten that Spider Silk off initially, you can revive Rydia, Rosa, and Edge quickly enough and heal them up as needed to get back on your feet. You have the time to do it. You probably won't be able to get a Flare off with Rydia, but, you know, you still got uh, Quake. If you don't have Quake... Then just have Rydia sit there and do nothing. There we go. We get the uh, Ragnarok. One of the best weapons in the game for Cecil. The best weapon for him in the SNES version. Okay, so we got this. Let's, uh, well, let's take a look at what it is. Well, I guess we can go back to the... That is not the Dragon Gloves. Let's see, the Excalibur, he's got 86 Strength, 48 Spirit, got the Ragnarok, first of all he gets, I think that's plus 15 Stamina, 76 Stamina, 91 Strength, so that's plus 15 Strength, and I think plus 15 Spirit as well, and it has an insane amount of attack power. It is Holy Elemental, which doesn't really matter in this version. In the DS version, that's nerfed, sadly, but whatever. Alright, so uh, this was where I ended the episode anyway, so I'm gonna cut this off here. I mean, I guess I'll cottage up. Not that it matters. And, uh... Next time, we'll make our way through the rest of the area.
This is Ryzen. Thanks for watching. Take care.